Many older homes have features that often confuse their younger owners. A lot of these features are still useful, but many people just don't know about them. In this video, we will discuss some of the old home features that have disappeared. These stairs are not like traditional stairs. They are called witches' stairs and are primarily found in older homes, especially in the northeastern part of the U.S. There is an urban legend surrounding these stairs which says that they were built in 17th century homes to ward off witches because they could not walk up the steps. However, this myth is simply not true. It's believed that they came around in the 19th century and they are called alternative tread stairs. These stairs save space and are generally steeper which can be problematic for aging adults. Even the average person has to be somewhat coordinated in order to get up these steps. Witches' stairs are not really found in newer homes because they have trouble meeting modern building codes. Victorian sash shutters are actually space-saving and convenient. The shutters are stored in the windowsill and can be pulled up to block outside light and allow for complete privacy. When they are stowed away in the seal, they allow for the full use of the light coming through the window. The other benefit they have is the ease of cleaning when compared to curtains or Venetian blinds. For some reason, these shutters have not remained popular. If you live in an area where the temperature rises above 90 degrees Fahrenheit, then I'm sure you'll understand how valuable an air conditioner is. But how did people do it before AC came along? If you were in the southern part of the U.S., then a sleeping porch was a desirable feature to have. Otherwise, sleeping in a hot house could be downright miserable. Sleeping porches were enclosed with screens and usually had three sides that were exposed to allow cooler breezes to move through at night. This made getting sleep in the heat a lot more bearable. It was common to see these porches with cots or mattresses and the whole family would sleep out there. As homes became more modernized with air conditioning, many people converted these porches into year-round sunrooms, bathrooms, or bedrooms. These sleeping porches can still be done to newer homes, but for the most part, you'll only see them in older ones. Coffin corners are a feature that is generally found in Victorian-aged homes. At one time, people had viewings and funeral services in their own homes, and that's where these coffin corners come into play, or so the story goes. These little niches were found on the staircases and made maneuvering of the coffin a lot easier when going up and down the stairs. But while that may have been partially useful for coffins, that really never was their intended use. They were actually simple little niches where people could display their treasured art or knickknacks. That being said, this old feature may still appear in newer homes, but for the most part, it's a solid feature in old Victorian homes. Old Victorian homes had another feature inside them that you may still see. That is, if no one has removed them. This is a speaking tube. This was a time before intercoms, and you certainly couldn't call or text when you needed to get the attention of someone in the house. It was also considered to be unacceptable to yell for them. These speaking tubes were essentially a pipe with a mouthpiece and or listening cone on each end. It allowed for communication between different levels, and it was quite effective. Modern technology has rendered this feature obsolete. A whole house fan is another feature that was really popular before air conditioning came around. The fans were located in the attic and would pull the hot air out of the house through a vent in the ceiling. The hot air would then be pushed outside of the home through some vents. The whole house fans were energy efficient and pretty effective for their time. Surprisingly, they are still available for purchase and installation, but for the most part they are found in older homes. A central vacuum system was a device that was installed in many older homes. It was a convenient way of having a vacuum in every room. The only thing you had to haul around was a hose which would plug into the ports which were located in every room. The dust and the debris would be sucked out of the room by force of a motor that was in the wall outlet. It would then travel to a central holding area which was a canister in the garage or basement. Today, vacuums are much more portable, which has put a dent on the sales of a central vacuum. 
but if you still want one, then they are still available. Hideaway ironing boards were a convenient way to store your ironing board out of sight, and not only that, but they were also space saving. This was a popular feature to have in older homes, and it was usually included in the build. But if you want one today, then you'll have to pay to have it installed. For some reason, they have went out of style. Either people don't iron anymore, or they have moved on to the newfangled hand steamer. Butler pantries are another item that came about in the Victorian era. They are sort of an in-between area that separates the kitchen and the dining room, or the rest of the house. It's a great area to store kitchen items out of sight. They are also great areas to help stage meals outside of the kitchen, you know, so people don't see the mess you've made. Many modern homes today have open floor plans, which have either modified the butler's pantry or done away with them altogether. A summer kitchen is a small room or outdoor building that is located next to the house. They were built to do all the normal functions of a kitchen. Their purpose predates air conditioning and they were used in the summertime so that the house itself did not get hot from the oven or stovetop. If you were already in a warmer climate, then this was a desired feature to have. However, not everyone could afford them. Modern cooling in homes has made these summer kitchens a little less desired. Carriage blocks are something that has been around for centuries, although you might not see many of them in use anymore. Their origin goes back to when people had horses. The blocks were places where people stepped on them to get a boost onto their horse or in their carriage. These blocks could be quite fancy and generally they were made out of stone. They were usually crafted by someone in town that had their own shop, much like you would see with the town's blacksmith. California coolers were much more common when people used ice boxes rather than refrigerators. It was a great way to save on your ice bill. They were located in the kitchen along an exterior wall and looked like a small closet or cabinet. On the outside of the house were two vents for the outside air to pass through them. One was up high and the other was down below to allow sort of a chimney effect. The hot air would go out the top and pull cooler air in the bottom vent. The vents had wire mesh or screening to help keep the insects and rodents out. They were the perfect place to store things like potatoes, onions, carrots, fruits, and even cheese. If they were really fancy, then they would draw cooler air from the crawl space or cellar. These old home features were once essential, but now they really don't exist like they used to. They are primarily found in old historic homes, but that doesn't mean that they can't be useful today. What are some of the old home features that you remember seeing, but have now faded away? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.